At the turn of the year, Iran erupted in protests. Calls for regime change rocked Iran. For years, Iranian society has been like a powder keg waiting to explode. Iran's 80 million population is yearning for change. While the vast majority of the population lives in poverty, the mullahs spend the nation's wealth on supporting the Assad regime in Syria and spreading terror in Iraq, Yemen and elsewhere. Protests began over rising costs and economic corruption, but they quickly turned political. In a matter of days, the protests spread to 142 cities. The extensive nature of the protests and the pace of events rattled the mullah's dictatorship, resorted to brutal measures to crack down on protesters. They also brought down the internet to prevent communication. Sadek Larijani, head of the judiciary and other officials, called for dealing harshly with the protesters, revealing the regime's fear of the expansion of the uprising. Many of current officials are the very people who were responsible for the massacre of more than 30,000 political prisoners in summer 1988. The guards have killed at least 50 people, some under torture, I have arrested more than 8,000 so far. They bypass regimes filtering of the internet through various means. Simultaneously, a war of waves continues. The 24-hour Simoy Azadi satellite television provides information about the latest developments in the nationwide movement. Oh, that's what I'm doing!